little manis. That bone does not belong to you. Honestly, what has gotten into you? Oh, I know you're just a dog and you can't help yourself when it comes to bones, especially one as nice as my special attack. I suppose I overreacted. I guess I am just anxious about this next experiment. There's something that's been bothering me for a while now, but I just can't quite put my phalange on it. Hey, bro. I thought you would've gotten all the stuff up at the court by now. I would have been there and back already, but this mysterious mutt intercepted me and then attempted to make off with my special attack. Hey pup, there you are. We were looking all over the lap for you. I got to say, I'm real curious about that trick you put. Well, since you're here now, can you actually help me haul all these things up to the car? You know, why don't you go ahead, Pap? I'll catch up with you. After Papyrus boarded the elevator with the cart full of equipment, Sams looked back at the dog. He sighed, rubbing at the back of his skull. You've been acting out of sorts today, pup. That little portal shortcut thing. How did you do that? The three tried to think of a way that they could possibly answer Sams, but couldn't think up any good response before he just went ahead. Rhetorical question I guess, since I don't speak dog. But I can't help but feel you know more than you're letting on, which I gotta say, is a bit of a bod to me. Seems like a whole bunch of studs been going, well weird lately. And I ain't sure how much of it is fate or our doing anymore. Do you think we should try writing in the dirt again? Fleddy suggested silently to the other three. We don't have a stick. Or a bone. Losing the bone seemed like the greatest tragedy to greatest dog. Hold up maybe Sans will tell us what we need to know about Gasta right now. He can get pretty talkative when he feels like it and you just listen, Frisk thought. They looked up at Sans expectantly, willing him to continue. After these last experiments losing that poor kid I'm starting to have a lot of doubts. Like I'm missing something really important he stared down at the mostly scratched out name in the dirt close by, as if contemplating it. Finally, however, he seized on an idea. Hey, I know, pup. How about we play a little game of 20 questions? One tail wag means yes, and two tail wags means no. Sound good to you? Okay, this could possibly get them somewhere. The dog wagged its tail once for yes, looking excited. They couldn't ask things themselves, but they could possibly lead Sans on. Sans raised a nice socket at them. Glad you game, pup. Well? First question. Did you get those abilities from the experiments? The dog shook its tail twice for no. I never even saw much of those. Greatest dog throwing, although he didn't really need to remind the other two. Okay have you seen our first test subject at all? First test subject? Who was that? Frisk asked. No idea, Fleddy replied. They shook their tail twice for no. Sams looked disappointed. What about all the ones after? Any hint of them around? Another no tail shake. Sams sighed. Guess I shouldn't have gotten my hopes up about that. Okay. Here's a big one for ya. We've been monitoring what we can see of the timeliness, best we can, and sometime in the future, things start to get screwy. Timeliness will start and stop, jump around from place to place, loop back in on each other, and then we got one that just ends everything. This isn't what we were working for at all, and it's really starting to scare me. There's some anomaly that's messing around with time he looked down at the dog intently. Do you know anything about what's causing that, pup? This question stunned all three of them into confused silence for a moment before they erupted into an internal debate. Is he talking about you or me? Fleddy asked. Well maybe he's talking about both of you. Or all of us together? Greatest dog tried to interject. Oh come on, I did the most resets out of any of us. He probably means the ones I did. Fleddy said. Yeah, but what does he mean ends everything? Can that happen? I don't know, I never tried something I didn't think I couldn't reset. So does that mean we do know what's causing it or we don't? I don't know. He needs to be more specific. 
Apparently this internal debate went on too long with no actual response in the form of tail wax, so Sans decided to drop it. Yana, never mind. Maybe that was too complicated for you, pub they just looked disappointed at Masans. Right now this seemed to be raising more questions for them than answering ones. Sans tapped at his jawbone, trying to think over a good response. Okay, I got one, maybe two more for ya. With all these things you seem capable of doing do you know what'll happen in the future? This question, they could actually answer in the affirmative. The doc whacked its tail yes. If Sans had eyebrows, they definitely would've gone up now. As it was, he just looked very interested, and leaned a little closer. Then I do have one more. In the future does everything turn out okay? The doc hesitated here for a moment, unsure what answer to give after all, there was the future ahead of Sans that they did know, and then there was the future ahead of them that they could only guess at now. What was the correct way to answer? Just when it seemed like they couldn't put it off any further, they all silently worked out a response and gave Sans one tail wag. Sans leaned back and gave a little sigh of relief. He smiled down at the dog, in that way you could tell that his smile was genuine. Thanks, pup. I don't know if you're right or not, but I think that's just what I needed to hear before they could react further, Sans then headed off in the direction of the elevator that Papyrus had used earlier. He gave them a smile as he left. I guess this means that I really better get back to work. This machine ain't gone to power itself, after all. Whatever you're up to I'm sure I'll be seeing ya around soon, pub the dog glanced back down at the scratched out name in the dirt as Sans made his exit. So after all of that, they still didn't have any more info on where Gaster actually was. And if anything, it sounded like they just made Sans more dedicated to getting the time machine project running. Do you think that maybe we should have answered differently? Greatest dog thought to the other two. Frisk looked ahead with determination. I think it just means we need to really make sure that the future does turn out alright.